Hey, this is Jack at Anatomy Zone. In this tutorial, we're going to go through the anatomy of the supraspinatus muscle. So the supraspinatus is one of the four muscles which make up the rotator cuff. And it can be found deep to the superficial, powerful shoulder muscles on the superior aspect of the scapula and the humerus bone. The supraspinatus originates in the supraspinous fossa. This is on the superior aspect of the scapula, just above this, which is the spine of the scapula. From its origin, it runs underneath the acromion to insert on the greater tubercle of the humerus. There are three facets on the greater tubercle and the supraspinatus attaches on the superior facet. The infraspinatus attaches just to the middle facet and the teres minor on the inferior facet and that's remembered by the acronym SIT. The supraspinatus acts in isolation to cause abduction of our arm and that's classically taught that it initiates abduction i.e. in the first 30 degrees or so but in fact that's incorrect and what we know is that the supraspinatus works throughout abduction. The other thing to remember though is that this movement is what it does when it's isolated and in reality what this muscle is doing is working with the other rotator cuff muscles to provide dynamic shoulder stability meaning it keeps the shoulder joint stable during movement of our arm. The supraspinatus is innervated by the suprascapular nerve. So this nerve arises from the superior trunk of the brachial plexus and that's formed typically by the ventral rami of the fifth and sixth cervical nerve roots. From its origin it runs laterally and downwards underneath the trapezius muscle to reach the suprascapular notch and at that point it gives off two branches before going around the lateral aspect of the scapular spine border to terminate with innervation of the infraspinatus muscle. In terms of its blood supply, it gets 90% of its blood supply from the suprascapular artery. And it receives 10% of its blood supply from the dorsal scapular artery. And both of these arteries arise from our subclavian artery, which you can see here. So that's the anatomy of the supraspinatus muscle. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, give us a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next video.